Dan Jenkins, Danny Houston, is the primary antagonist in Yellowstone Season 1 before he turns into an unexpected Dutton ally in Season 2, but his redemption isn't enough to save him from a brutal death. The Dutton family faces threats from the very opening moments of the show when Lee Dutton is unceremoniously shot in the Yellowstone pilot. Yellowstone is filled with villainous cattle rustlers, conniving landowners, antagonistic businessmen, and characters like Thomas Rainwater, Gil Birmingham, with a rightful distrust and dislike of the Dutton family and their monolithic Montana ranch. While John Dutton, Kevin Costner, is not exactly a hero, and his actions even make him often seem like a villain, he faces a series of even worse opponents who are constantly threatening to take what's his. The Beck brothers are not only some of the best villains in Yellowstone, but some of the best antagonists in Taylor Sheridan's long catalogue of memorable villains. Malcolm, Neil McDonough, and Teal, Terry Serpico, Beck are so villainous in their machinations to claim land for a casino, they bring together John, Thomas, and Dan against a common foe. Dan Jenkins is a land developer and antagonist in Yellowstone Seasons 1 and 2. Dan wants to create an urban development on the Yellowstone Ranch. Dan Jenkins first appears in the Yellowstone pilot, Daybreak, and immediately comes up against John and his family. A land developer, Dan was set on turning the Yellowstone Ranch into an urban development, complete with a hotel and a casino, an addition that gained the attention of Thomas. Dan's relationship with the Duttons is icy, particularly considering the season 1 finale when they string him up by the neck as a brutal warning to leave their land alone. However, as the seasons have gone on, Dan has retrospectively become one of the least sadistic villains on the show. While others seem to enjoy toying with the Duttons or are happy to go scorched earth on them, Dan simply wants to create a place where others enjoy the beauty of Montana. It's notable that his home has massive windows looking out over the mountains. All things considered, he's there for the same reason John is, he loves the land. Dan Jenkins is shot to death by the Beck brothers' hitmen in the Yellowstone season 2 finale. Three hitmen break into Dan's home and shoot him dead. Malcolm Beck, Neil McDonough, smiling at Dan Jenkins, Danny Houston, in Yellowstone. After Dan Jenkins near lynching at the end of season 1, he comes back to meet with Thomas and John to form an alliance, or at least an uneasy truce, against the new potent threat of the Beck brothers. Malcolm and Teal have no scruples when it comes to taking land, willing to even kidnap Tate Dutton, Breck and Merrill. Still, it's a shocking death in Yellowstone when they send hitmen after Dan in Season 2, Episode 10, Sins of the Father.